Well, that's why we're getting an Ahsoka True. series, which is starting in a couple weeks right now, releasing two episodes on the release date. And we've got the latest trailer that just came out for Ahsoka. Maybe this will tickle Sean's pickle. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just go with it. Just go with it, Sabrina. Just go with it. Well, there's an Ahsoka series coming, and they had the new trailer that came out. We got Hayden Christensen actually doing voiceover, which is confirming in a lot of ways that he is a part of this project. Now, the Hollywood reporter said, we a months back that he was probably going to be involved and they talked about maybe he would be a, a flashback scene with a young Ahsoka and an Anakin Skywalker or maybe he would be a you know a a Jedi Knight or a um, a, a, spo- a, fate, a force ghost a force ghost that would come in maybe be something like that but with this voiceover which he says in this he says in this war you'll face more than just droids as your master it's my responsibility to prepare you don't be afraid you can do this Ahsoka which makes it kind of seem like maybe he's going to be a flashback scene, which would make really sense for this because you're getting the whole Ahsoka series. You do need to dive into her past so people know who she is, where she came from. He was a huge part of her backstory. Of course, in the Clone Wars, he was a big part of that. But, you know, he's her Jedi Master. So it only makes sense if she's being trained by him for him to be in this. And of course, Hayden Christensen has been sitting on his couch for years asking for this fucking opportunity to come back. So like, (laughs) why the fuck not would he do this, you know? I mean, after Jumper, I thought his career was fucking done. I thought he jumped off a cliff, but you know, he He's came back oh, around. That was good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know? I, I didn't mind that movie. I, you know what? Looking back at his performance, Sean and Mike, I thought that it was it was, it was all right as Anakin. I hated it. Like when Mike and I first saw Clone Wars, uh, the very wow. the, the first one yeah. that was the very first one, episode one we saw in theaters. We were so excited as kids Phantom in the eighth Menace. grade. Yeah, Phantom Menace, and uh, you know we were let down a little bit. But we were kids. We were also not as jaded as we are now yippee but, <laughs> that was Yahoo! you know new we star wars excited. just for new me star oh i got my first pube you know we were so excited but you know i remember that a, happened while you a, were in the theater Brian. A, yeah it was a different world back then it just was you know but let's go into this like what do we think about this is this is it this solidify though are we, are we done are we solidified that hayden christensen's in here then what do you think mike do you think that hayden christensen in this you got the voiceover he's got to be a part of this right there's no ands ifs or buts about it yeah, he was in uh he was in Obi-Wan like everybody wants him to be part of it. Any any uh, ill will that the that the, you know, us people in the in the cheap seats had at any point. It's all whatever. We're done. Like, we just we just want to see more of the face that we're familiar with. Like bring bring it on. Uh other faces, Rosario Dawson, she looks exactly so, like Asuka. like Oh my god, it's absolutely. Amazing. It's amazing. She's so good. She and the other thing is that she like <laughs> she's uh, this is a role like I haven't seen her in before. Like, and obviously it's oh, a yeah. big opportunity. Like, she's gonna knock this out of the park. I'm really yeah. ready to ready to see that. Uh, Hayden Christensen, like, I do. He's good in Obi Wan. I've, I've said he was before, great in Obi Wan. He's yeah. He's yeah. you know he's he's a he's a Canadian. Like, never should have never should have <laughs> cast a Canadian what's, what's as Darth Vader. Mean, huh? <laughs> never should have cast a Canadian as Darth Vader. They just they just don't have it in them. Like, you need the seed <laughs> the seed of evil. <laughs> Which you know I can find it's a seed nice. of evil anywhere down the block. But if I live in Canada, it's not happening. <laughs> Well, I mean, Jim Carrey does a pretty great Dr. Robotnik, and he's Canadian, right? So, I mean, hey, not not the same. He's not evil, but <laughs> not not at all close. Uh, Sean, what do you think? We're, we're done, right? You're right. You agree with Mike? He's in this shit. Like, you saw oh, him absolutely. in Obi-Wan already. So, this is just, like, a confirmation without actually showing him in the trailer, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I feel like this is still a continuation of, uh, you know, the Hayden Christensen redemption tour. Uh, allow him yeah. to kind of, you know, be tethered to something with better writing, better character development, and allow him to really kind of make the role his own. Uh, this is something that, you know, like we were already prejudiced against uh, when the prequels kind of came out and kind of explained his backstory. He just wasn't giving really uh, uh, enough time and enough kind of like uh, a character development to really make it his own. And, and you know, I, I feel for the guy, you know, like he still shows up to every con where there's a star Wars, so anything. Good. And he's just a, a really good fan and like a good representation of like a, a, a humble celebrity. And, you know, yeah, I'm all for it. I, I, I'm excited to see him in this in whatever flavor or whatever kind of take we're able to get him in. Um, you know, I think he's really tried to, you know, uh, humble himself to the feedback he got from fandom, whether deserved or undeserved. 
and uh, make it his own. And uh, he's doing a fantastic job so far. And and I think Ahsoka is going to show him really kind of, you know, continue to take take charge. So, yeah. I really hope he's in it more than he was in Obi-Wan, too. Because Obi-Wan, they had that one flashback scene of him training with Obi-Wan, which was cool. And then they had him as Vader, which was, I, I will still say, was like, a fucking great fight scene. It was like everything was, was leading awesome. up for it that. It was amazing. Like, it, was it was really fucking, good to see. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the way he played it when the oh. mask broke, you know what I mean? It was like the yep. mix between his Blew voice and the the AI version of <laughs> I mean, really, it's the AI version of James Earl Jones. That's what it is. Because they Disney stand his old voice and now they can make him be Darth Vader forever now. So that's a thing. That happened. So it was, and you can't even tell. You can't tell. And that's where the world's going, the AI stuff. You had no idea if you're watching that, that that was AI. But it was AI based off him saying stuff. But that was such a cool thing. It was really great. And for me, I'm about hating Christensen doing this more. He should keep going. Honestly, he's, he's fucking killed it as his part. Redemption! I think older, redemption's fucking, it's all about, Star Wars is always about redemption, right? So I mean, Redemption, like, thy sense. name is Hayden. <laughs> <laughs>